G'day and welcome to this lesson for Na 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 by My Chemical Romance. This song is a little bit quick and there are some fills that are quite intricate and you're gonna take a little bit of time just to learn them and then get them up to speed. I've done my best to work out all the bits as accurately as possible, so let's jump on the kit and I'll show you what's going on. The crashes at the very beginning are super short, so if you can, catch them with your other hand and then we're gonna move into a fill that goes just like this. Then we're straight into a groove that goes like this. The bar before the first verse has a fill in it, and that goes like this. That brings us to our first verse, and here goes the groove for that one. To the next four bars, we add some crashes on beat two, so that will sound like this. You might have already noticed that we're using that snare drum fill coming in on the end of three and just playing 16th notes quite a bit and we're going to use it again and again throughout the song, so grab it now. The next part of the verse, we're going to add kicks four on the floor, so that will sound like this. Nice and straightforward, then we're going to add those crashes in on beat two once again. That brings us into our chorus, and there's some hits in the chorus on the snare drum, on the end of three, and beat four, and they go with the crash symbol, and I think it's a lot easier for me if I play it on a second crash symbol. So if you don't have a second crash symbol, you can maybe play them on open hi-hats instead, but if you really want to, you can just stay on the crash symbol that you're already playing. But as I said, I just think it's a little bit easier if you move your hand, the accents stand out a little bit more. So let me play you the first four bars of the chorus. Halfway through, we have a fill. And then at the end of the chorus, we have a different fill. I'll play the whole chorus put together. The next four bars are a little bit different, they're just like a post-chorus with kind of a bit of a rhythm going on the kick drums and we've got snare drum and crash cymbal up over the top. And then we're into our next verse and this is a different beat again.
That takes us back into our chorus, just the same as we just played it, but halfway through the fill is a little bit different. And then at the end of that chorus, we play a big triplet fill, and then we're into some washed out stops. So the fill. We just hit crashes on beat one for a while, and then eventually we're gonna come in with the ride symbol on beat three, and then some toms on beat three, just like this. That cymbal roll is just single sticking up on the cymbals. If you don't have two cymbals, you could definitely just do it on one. Going into the next section, we've got heaps of fills. I'm gonna go slowly, so hopefully you'll be able to catch it. If the flames are a little bit tricky, just leave them out for starters, but eventually try and work them back in because that is definitely what makes this bit sound cool. Let me play the first four bars, just slowly. And now the second four bars. That whole bit is pretty tricky, so just rewind the video or pause on the transcriptions as often as you need to. Just take it really slowly until eventually it starts to click. Let me play those eight bars up to speed. Fortunately, the next bit, which I would call the bridge, is nice and simple. We're back to four kicks to the floor. That takes us into the guitar solo, which is really similar to the chorus. And then at the end of the guitar solo, we have this stop. That takes us into one chorus, which is just the same as we've already done it, but then in the next bit of the chorus, we're gonna play four snares to the bar, just like this. Then once again we have a triplet fill leading into a bunch more fills. So let me take them slowly once again, but this is something else that's going to take a little bit of time for you to work on.
last bar out of those four is definitely the trickiest. It's just a group of three, two hands and one foot in 16th notes, but it is quite quick when you play it along with the song. Let me move on and play the last couple of fills into the very end of the song. I'll play that whole end section for you. And there we go, that is the end, and that is how you play Na 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 by My Chemical Romance. There are two sections in there that are definitely tricky, so don't get discouraged, just take them slowly, pause the video and read the transcription. Once you have it memorized, you'll be able to take it back up to speed and eventually jam along to the song. Happy practicing guys, and I'll see you very soon at the next lesson.